How do you create more open communication in your relationship? This is a question that I got on my most recent live video and I thought it was such a great one that I wanted to create a separate video of four ways in which to do that. Number one is you go first. If you want your partner to open up to you more, be more vulnerable, um, make their needs known so that you're not reading their mind, then you want to do those things and be very emphatic about it because in that way you are modeling that behavior for them and also you're helping them feel safer to do it themselves. Number two is practice your conversation. I know that this may feel silly at first, having a conversation with yourself, but doing so will build your confidence. Number three, set your intentions and state them. You know, not every conversation in a relationship has the same purpose. So let your partner know, hey, I'm feeling frustrated and I just want to vent about this. I don't expect you to come up with a solution or for us to solve anything. Hey, you and I have been really disagreeing about this issue a lot. So I want us to have a talk to see if we could come up with a solution to it. Or, hey, you know, I feel like we haven't been as close. Our relationship is getting distant. Let's sit down and talk about some ways that we can improve that and build our intimacy again. Make sure you set and state that intention before you get into the meat of the conversation. And number four, create a safe space and time for these conversations. Um, if there's a topic especially that reoccurs, you know, you want to just set aside a weekly date for it. For example, my husband and I have a weekly money date. We do that so that when there is an issue, there's already the safe container for it and it doesn't have to be this huge big deal. So there are weeks that we get together for our money date and we have nothing to talk about. It's like, hey, everything's good. We're all on track. Cool. Good talk. And then, you know, we will have dinner. We will watch a movie together and move on. There are also times where we do have something that we need to talk about. So we discuss it. We wait until the money date to discuss it. So um, there's no like anything spur of the moment. We have time to check in with our emotions and control those first. And then after we have those conversations, then again, we do something fun. We cuddle up and watch a movie or, you know, we have dinner together. But having that container um, allows people to feel much more free to have these discussions. And it also makes these discussions more thoughtful and more productive.